I'm often asked about how a child can cope with a parent's alcohol problems. Well, that depends on the age of the child. So if we're talking about younger children um, or teenagers, really often what really is required in, in most often is that another adult becomes involved to help that child, whether that be a teacher or a guidance counselor or another relative who's not having an alcohol problem or perhaps the other parent if, there's a, if there is another parent. And often what children need is they need to have their reality verified that it, because their reality is that this is normal if that's their parent. But yet often kids, they know something's wrong, but, they, but it's not verified because that's their, that is their world in, the, in their home with a parent who's drinking heavily or drinking constantly, who may be checked out, who may be passed out. Um, so often, again, it, in, it, it involves helping a child be able to disclose to someone that they're, usually it's that they're scared for their parent and worried about their parent. That can be very difficult because parent, kids are very loyal to their parents. They don't want to, they don't want to hurt their parent. And often they think by tell, telling on them, they'll be hurting their parent. And that is hard because sometimes, particularly if it's a single parent situation, there is the risk that the child would be removed from the parent. But with an older parent, if you have an adult child dealing with an older parent, it's obviously very different because the, because the child is an adult. So there's different, there's different considerations. So often what that may be to help a child or a t particularly teens or, or adults cope with a parent, there are, first of all, there's something called teen anon, which is, it's, um, it's, 12-step based, like Alcoholics Anonymous, but it's for teenagers specifically who have a parent, particularly, who is ha having alcohol problems. So it is, it's a supportive environment of other teens that will be facilitated by someone else to help them get support. And if they can get, if you can get a, a teenager to that kind of meeting, they often see that they're not alone and that their experience is very similar to the, that of other children. And that goes for adult children as well. There's something called ACOA, Adult Children of Alcoholics, and there's also Al-Anon. And Al-Anon is just like Teen Anon, where it is, um, again, a support group for significant others of, of, alcohol, of people with alcohol problems. And adult, child, adult children of alcoholics is specifically for that group of children of alcoholics, where Al-Anon will be any significant other. It might be a spouse or a parent um, or a child. So the main issue is for, to encourage people to get their own support to help them figure out how to cope with their situation. Everyone needs support, whether it's the person who's abusing alcohol or the significant other of that, of that person. That's the key, is to get support and not go it alone.